Hello, my yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Scrap Happy Summer Poncho. It is our Scrap Happy pattern for the month of April, and it is a spring and summer poncho because you can see it has these great big open holes. It makes a nice poncho to go over a sundress or tank top or even make it longer so it can cover your bathing suit. Isn't that beautiful? The pattern is a one row repeat once we get down a ways. And you can see we use triple stitches. We did two triples, a chain two and two triples for our shell stitch. And then we did triple V stitches alternating every other set going across each row. And I, and think, I think that makes an absolutely gorgeous poncho. Now this poncho has four sizes and it's a big roomy poncho that you can slide off one shoulder if you want to. And so the way we did it is we did size one is our extra small small. And that's going to give you a neck opening of about 31 inches. Size two is our medium and large and that's going to give you a neck hole of about 34 inches. Size three is our extra large 2X and that's going to give you a neck hole of about 37 inches. And then we have a 3X, 4X size that's going to give you about a 40 inch neck hole. And when I say neck hole, I'm talking about the neck opening at the top of our poncho. And so it is made to be a big, roomy, comfortable poncho that you can throw on in the morning, maybe if it's a cool morning over a t-shirt. Maybe you're going to go to lunch and there's a little breeze at the beach. You can throw your poncho on over your bathing suit. And it's a great vacation poncho to take with you. Now what I did is I just got in my yarn stash and I went with the ones um, that I had left over that was maybe a half a skein or a quarter of a skein so that I would get a little bit longer portions of color. And they're all medium weight number four yarns and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But I wanted you to see that we use like light teals and medium pinks, royal blue, a little darker teal, a little darker pink, and then I went with even a darker teal, and here's some lighter teal in here, and I ended with a dark teal and this pop of bright pink, and ended our trim with teal. And so I just uh, used a bunch of different shades of teals and blues and pinks, and I absolutely love how it turns out. And it's going to match a couple of my tops perfectly, as well as a couple of my bathing suits. Now you can find the complete pattern with pictures on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So I stitched up my Scrap Happy Summer Poncho using medium weight number four acrylic yarns. Now if you have enough cotton yarns, you can make this in medium weight number four cotton as well. Now if you're going to make this extra small and small size, you're going to need about seven ounces. If you're going to make the medium large, you're going to need about nine ounces. If you're making the extra large uh, 2x, you're going to need about 11 ounces. And then if you're making the three and four X size, you're going to need about 13 ounces of yarn. But keep in mind, if you're gonna make it longer, like you want a longer poncho, of course you'll need more yarn as well. It's I chose to use all medium weight number four acrylic yarns. Part of the reason I did that is if you make something this large out of cotton and you're gonna wear it at the beach or to the pool, or where you're going to get sweaty, that cotton's going to absorb that moisture and it's gonna become kind of heavy. And so I didn't want that for me because I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> I know, I'm always saying that, but I am. I'm actually going to keep this one. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook, which is a 5.5 .5 millimeter crochet hook. 
All right. And then beside your yarn, you're going to need a needle just to weave in ends and a pair of scissors. And I do recommend having your tape measure handy. That way you can measure as you go and do the length that, ne that you need. Some of us are short, but some of us are tall. And so since I'm short, I'm going to do less rows. And if you can measure as you go, you can make it just as long as you need. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be making the extra small, small size. And then I'll be giving you the counts and the information for the other three sizes. So we're going to begin with our slip knot, and then we're going to chain the amount we need for our size. If you're making the extra small, small size, you're going to need to chain 85. If you're making the medium, large size, you're going to need to chain 91. If you're making the extra large 2X size, you're going to need to chain 97. And if you're making the 3X, 4X size, you're going to need to chain 103. And I do recommend that you make this beginning chain just a little bit loose. You want to have a little stretch in the top of your collar or trim. All right, so since I'm making the extra small, small size, I'm going to loosely chain 85. And you use loosely chain the amount of chains you need for the size that you're making. I have loosely chained my 85 chains. Now, one thing that you can do if you have trouble keeping track is you can use a stitch marker every, every 10 or 20 chains that you make around. Then you don't have to keep recounting. That's a big help. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to join to that first chain. And you want to be real careful not to twist your chain. All right, so I'm just going to go around here, making sure it's nice and flat because we don't want to twist in our chain. All right, so we're going to go in that first chain. And stitch a slip stitch. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go in that next chain and stitch a single crochet and then stitch one single crochet in each of our chains working all the way around. And this is our foundation for our neck at our poncho or on our poncho. One single crochet in each of our chains working all the way around the neck of our poncho. I have stitched a single crochet in each of my chains working all the way around, being careful not to twist my chain. All right, so now we're going to join to the first single crochet, not where we stitched our slip stitch. So we're going to go in and stitch a slip stitch in that first single crochet and chain four. And that is for all sizes. The only difference is you're going to have a different number of single crochets. So if you stitched 85, you're going to have 84 single crochets. If you stitched 91 chains, you'll have 90. And you'll notice you'll have one less on this row. If you stitched 97, you're going to have 96 single crochets. And if you stitched 103 chains, then you'll have 102 single crochets. All right, so whatever number that you stitched, you're going to have one less single crochet. All right, let's do row two. So we've chained four, and this chain four counts as our first triple. We're going to stitch another triple in this first stitch. So two wraps on your hook, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over and go through the third two loops. That's our triple. We're going to chain two and then stitch two more triples in this same stitch. So 
So in that first stitch, we stitched our shell stitch, which is two triples, chain two, and two triples. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two stitches and then stitch a triple in that next stitch. And chain two. We'll skip the next two stitches and then we'll stitch a shell stitch in the next. So again, two triples, chain two, and two triples. And chain two. All right, we'll skip the next two and stitch a triple in that next stitch. And chain two. Skip the next two and stitch a triple shell stitch in the next, which again is two triples, chain two, and two triples. And this is our setup row for our repeat rows. Chain two, skip two, one double crochet in that next stitch, and chain two. And see how that looks? You'll see that it is flaring out some, but not a lot. It'll flare out more on our next row. All right, so we'll just continue around, chain two, skip two, our triple shell stitch in the next, there we go, chain two, skip two, and one triple in the next, and chain two. And so we'll continue to repeat this working all the way around the neck of our poncho. I have completed round or row two with our triple, chain two, triple shell stitches, chain two, skip two, and then our triple individual, chain two, skip two, all the way around. We end with one triple, chain two, skip two. We're going to join to the fourth chain with a slip stitch. Then we'll slip stitch in that next triple. Slip stitch in the chain two space. And chain four. All right, you can see how that looks all the way around. And now we're going to do row three. And we're going to stitch our triple shell stitch in the chain two space of all of our triple shell stitches. All right, so our chain four counts as our first triple. And then we'll triple, chain two, and two more triples in this chain two space. And chain two. Now we'll go to where we have this one triple stitch and we're going to stitch a V stitch or triple V stitch, okay? So we'll stitch a triple, chain one, and a triple in that double, I mean in that triple stitch. <laughs> We're doing all triples here. All right, so where we have our triple stitches that were individual, we're stitching a triple V stitch. Chain two, then we'll move over to the chain two space of our shell stitch and stitch our shell stitch.
Oops, there we go. And chain two. Then we'll go to our next triple stitch and stitch our triple V stitch. And this is going to give us just a little bit more flare on our poncho so that we get the shape that we're looking for. And chain two. And that's the way that row three will work. And it's the same on all sizes. The only difference is you'll have more shell stitches and more V stitches for the larger sizes. So here is my triple shell stitch, chain two, and then we'll stitch our triple V stitch in that next triple stitch. And chain two. And this is the way that it will look. And we'll continue working this triple shell stitches, chain two, triple V stitch, chain two, all the way around and join back to our chain four. So I have completed round or row three. We stitched a triple shell in the chain two space of the triple shells. Then we stitched a V stitch in the stitch where we stitched one triple stitch with our chain twos in between. All right, we join to the chain four with a slip stitch, slip stitched in the next triple, slip stitched in the chain two space, and chain four. Now we're set up for all of our repeat rows. So we'll stitch another triple in our chain two space because our chain four counts as our first and we'll chain two. We'll stitch two triples in this same space. So we make our triple shell stitch. Chain two. Then we'll move to our chain one space of our V stitch and stitch a triple. I need to put two wraps on there. There we go. Chain one and triple for our triple V stitch. There we go. Move that out of the way so you can see better against that white table. All right, chain two and repeat our triple shell stitch in the chain two space of the triple shell stitch. And chain two go to our next V stitch and stitch a triple V stitch in, oops, I need two wraps. There we go. Our triple, chain one and triple to make our triple V stitch. And chain two. Then we go to our chain two space of our triple shell stitch. They're also called trebles. It can be triple or treble, however you want to pronounce it. I like calling it triple because we have doubles and triples. <laughs> All right, chain two. Then we go to our next chain one space of our next V stitch and stitch our triple V stitch. Oops, get in there. <laughs> and chain two. And so for row four, that is our repeat. 
we stitch our triple shell in the chain two space of the triples, chain two, then we stitch our triple V stitch in the chain one space of our V stitch, chain two, and repeat this all the way around our poncho. And then we'll join back to our chain four, just like we did on the previous row. I have completed row four. We have our shell stitches in our chain two space of our shell stitches and our V stitches in the chain one space of our V stitches. And again, we're only using triple stitches on this poncho. If I accidentally said double crochet or something else, it's all stitched in triple stitches and it goes really fast. It makes a really open poncho for spring and summer and even fall. Or if you live in a warm climate all year long. All right, so before we go on and do the next row, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about changing colors because it can be a little more difficult when you're doing something that's open like this. All right, and so what I did when I was changing colors, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out where I joined. What I did where I, when I was changing colors is I went ahead and slip stitched in the chain four and I slip stitched in the triple and then I slip stitched in that chain two space as normal. All right, then I cut my yarn and I brought in my new color and I did this as much as possible on the row changes because I thought it made a much smoother appearance but you don't have to do it this way. You can change colors anywhere just by using, of course, that Russian join or another method. Let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, it's up to you how you change colors. I changed colors often every two or three rows. I think even some of them one row but I wanted to try to finish a row with that color. I didn't always, some of them are off, you know, by a couple of stitches or half a row, and that's okay, I don't mind, because it is a scrap happy project. And I wanted it to be a little bit random and of course, bright. But my favorite way is to do it this way, okay? Now for row number five through row 20, we're just going to repeat row four. You'll continue to stitch your triple shells in your chain two spaces, chain two, your triple V stitches in your chain one spaces, chain two, and repeat. Then join back to your chain four, slip stitch in your triple, slip stitch in your chain two, chain four, and repeat. So we're going to be repeating row four for 16 more rows so that we have a total of 20. When you get to that row and you have 20 rows and it's maybe not long enough, you can add as many repeats as you would like. So we're going to repeat row four for at least 16 more rows. So row or round one was our single crochet row. And then I stitched 19 rows, repeating for those additional 16 rows so that I have a total of 20 rows. And you can see I have some rows where I have three colors. This one I just have the one, three. Here I changed color in the middle of the row and I did the same thing here. And then on some of the other ones, I didn't do that. And so it's just a bunch of random shades of blues and pinks. This looks red on here, but it's actually like a fluorescent pink. And I love that on the bottom of my poncho. Okay, so if you've measured down, and it should measure about 20 inches, each because. row is approximately an inch. Now the beginning row where we did the single crochet 
is really only about a third of an inch. And where you get that extra is when we add the single crochet trim on the end. And so it ends up being approximately 20 inches long. Okay, now if that's not long enough for you, it's perfect for me, I'm a shorty. But if you are taller or you just want it longer, go ahead and add as many rows as you want to and then we'll add the simple single crochet trim. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on my swatch. So to do our trim, we're going to pretend like this is as long as we want it and actually it would make a lovely collar on a sweater or a blouse with just these four rows. But we're gonna pretend like we've done all 20. So I brought in my pink, get that tail out of the way there. And we're going to place two single crochets in the chain two space. Then we'll place a single crochet in the next two triple stitches. Then we'll place two single crochets in the next chain two space. All right, that brings us to a V stitch. So we'll stitch a single crochet in the triple, one single crochet in the chain two space, and one single crochet in the triple. There we go. And then we'll stitch two single crochets in the chain two space. All right, and so that's what we'll repeat working all the way around. Single crochet in the two triples. Two single crochets in the chain two space. One single crochet in the two triples. Two single crochets in the chain two space. One single crochet in the triple one single crochet in the chain one space, one single crochet in the triple, and two single crochets in the next chain two space. Okay, and that is the way that it should look. It still has a similar shape because of the way we are putting those single crochets on. So you're still going to get the shape of what we want the poncho to look like, but you're also getting a nice even row of single crochet that's going to help finish off our poncho with a nice edge. So we'll just continue to repeat this around and then join back to that first single crochet. So here is my actual poncho. And just for the record, I made mine in the medium large because I wanted it to fit nicely and it does fit very nicely. It's, lo it's loose and roomy, but nice and the nice length that I need. And so I made mine in the medium large. All right, and I joined back where I started with my single crochet, and then I weaved in my end underneath. And then I went back in and weaved in all the ends where I changed my colors. And I think the poncho turned out just perfectly. Now, if the top of the poncho everything fits great but it's just a little bit loose you can always make a chain and weave that in and and pull that in also i didn't i didn't think it was necessary because i want mine just to be nice and loose and roomy and again i love all these colors working together with light teals and blue and all the different shades of pink and blue i think it turned out just beautiful and i love it and I think you're really going to enjoy making this as well as wearing it. So that's our Scrap Happy Summer Poncho for our April Scrap Happy pattern. So Scrap Happy! <laughs>